cataractcoach.com. Large decimate attachment in FACO. So misloaded lens caused the injector tip to swell. It was shoved in the incision. You get a huge decimate attachment. Let me show you the case here. Now, I was not present for this case. This is a resident operating with some other professor attending the case. So here's the incision at the beginning of the case. So a little bit too much in the cornea, but not terrible, not a bad incision. I think the incision is tolerable. Reasonable. We'll take that. And then I'm going to get through the cataract case pretty quickly because that really wasn't the issue here. But you see this resin's done about 50 or 60 cataracts so far. And it's doing a good job. Here you go, more viscoelastic. Lorexis looks pretty good. So very good for a resident case here. Good hydro dissection being done. And let's see, does the nucleus spin a little bit? There it is. Good job. Remember, if it does not spin, you will not win. But it spins, so that's a good thing. You can see the incision now. It's got a little bit hydrated on the stromal walls. And that is a reasonable incision, so nothing wrong with the incision. It looks like a groove down the middle, maybe a stop and chomp or a divide and conquer technique. Reasonable looking groove. And now, oh, okay, rotating, so divide and conquer, very nice. So divide and conquer is a very reasonable technique for a resident if you're done less than 100 cases. And now let's see, splitting the nucleus there and splitting it here and splitting it there. So really good job. And bringing the pieces up and emulsifying them, going pretty well. So it's a very good job. The resident's doing a fantastic job here. But, you know, with cataract surgery, there's just essentially no room for error. Every step is so important. And so you can have a case like this with a reasonable incision, a good-looking rexus, good nucleus removal, very nice technique, and yet have a complication. And so here's cortex removal. looks pretty good. Nice capsular bag going to be inflated now with viscoelastic. And so let me just show you here. Again, there's no decimated attachment now. Everything looks fine. So filling up the capsular bag. Deepening the AC as well. There's some, uh, looks like cohesive viscoelastic. Looks very reasonable. And yeah, getting it in that bag. I like that. Now we're just going to uh, wait here a little bit. And so what's going to happen now is the lens is being loaded. Now watch. Here comes the lens. It's misloaded. You can always tell because look at the plunger. The plunger's not behind the lens. It's kind of halfway in the middle of it. And so delivering the lens here, it's really tight. And you saw that twisting motion, twist, twist, twist to get that in there. See, look at the position of that plunger. Oh, it was right in the middle. And so that can also damage the lens. The lens doesn't want to unfold now. And what it did is by twisting that injector tip to put it in the eye, that twist, 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 it was the U detaching decimase. So let's get that haptic opened up here. There we go. At least the lens is not upside down. The lens looks like it's in a good position, so it looks pretty reasonable. At this point, the resin still doesn't realize that there's a little decimate attachment. And so what's going to happen here is you're not careful. You're going to go on the IA probe, and you're going to make it even worse. So now, I think the attending was pointing out, oh, there's a huge detachment. So from the incision, you have like a big strip of detachment, which I think was aspirated. So you're not going to find that membrane now. It's not like you can place it back. If you had just a flap... You could put it back, put a gas bubble in the eye, and hold it in position. But I think this is a complete loss of that piece. So there's a strip of the central endothelium, which is now gone. So what are you going to do? So at this point, the answer is you just got to finish up the case here. So hydrating the incision here. And again, you can, it's, hard, it's hard to see exactly. I wish the resident had used our OCT machine. We have an uh, OCT on our microscope where you could have done an OCT scan. But you can see, look, good-looking rexes, lens in the bag, your nucleus removal is great. But this huge decimate detachment and loss of the central decimate strip there is going to obviously impact the patient's vision. And so now the resident's just kind of figuring out, well, what do I do here? What's going to happen next? And this is the hard part about accepting reality. And so, yeah, seal up the incisions here. Seal up the main incision. And you may need to put a stitch in. Remember, the part of the important part of sealing in an in, in incision is the endothelial pump function. So now just she's just looking around for where's that decime flap? Where's the tissue gone? And it's just nowhere to be found. So then more viscoelastic is being placed in the eye. I'm not sure why that would be helpful. But you don't want to leave viscoelastic in the eye. There's a big loss of decimase right there. And it's right in the visual axis and it's a big strip right down the middle. 
Don't leave the viscoelastic in the eye, so that's going to be removed also. And again, the question here is now, what do you do? And this is why the, there's a lot of delay here. The resident is thinking, I don't know, what do I do here? And you're hopeful, you, can I find that decime flap? I don't think you find it anywhere. And so here, both the attending and the resident are just kind of facing reality that there's no decime flap anymore in the center. And so what are you going to do? You can't do anything. you got to close up the eye. So close up the eye, and you know what? There's a chance those cells could migrate, and it could be okay. Or there's a chance you're going to have to go back and do a DMEC. Here you can see on the first post-op pic, the patient has a lot of corneal edema there. Extensive amount of corneal edema. And it's in that area where you lost decimase. And then here's higher magnification. And you can see also that's going to be an issue. Now, maybe the cells will migrate, give it some time. But if not, in a couple of months, you got to come back and do a DMEC. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on. cataractcoach.com. Check it out.